Hello, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be about the Land School uh, toolbar up top here and how you can customize it to get it to be what you want so you have easy access to the things that you use often. You can have about 18 different icons going across the top. And then if you have more than that, a drop down will appear over here so that you can see the rest of them. So I encourage you to pick the top 18 that you think you need. And as always, you can change these at a later date. But let's go through and talk about what we have here. So I'm going to click on view and then configure toolbar. So what you see here, and I'm, I apologize that I can't make this bigger, is the available toolbar buttons and then the ones that are currently there. The separators, just so you know, are these little black lines that kind of separate things into different categories, if you like. So let me go through the ones that I have. So I have tutorials. I have the ones that allow me to show the student's screen. And then I have a voting option so I can send out a poll to students. I have the testing option. I have the ability to control a student's screen, the view all so I can change the view of, a, of the, the screens that I'm seeing, snapshot so I can take a snapshot of a kid's screen, the message so that I can send a message to a student or respond to a message that they have sent me, blank screen so I can quickly blank their screen with a message, limit their web browsing abilities, limit their app abilities, mute their computers, and there'll be videos that will go through how to configure these settings for you. Clear their desktop, show a video to the students, class list, which I find, oops, roll too fast, class list, which I find great because this is an easy way to access my class list to open them, dismiss them, load them, manage them, things like that. Choose random if I want to choose a random student and then also the refresh button if I want to just go refresh the screens. So the ones that I've not chosen here, and this doesn't mean I can't get to them, they're just not my quick access toolbar, is run if I want to run a specific program, save a current class list, Shut down if I want to shut down the student's computers. Files to be able to send files to the students. Preferences so I can update my preferences. Limit printing so I can limit the student's available availability to print. Limit drives so I can um, restrict students' access to specific drives. Co-browsing the internet and the speak feature. So basically you want to move things over to the right side that you want and move things over to the left side that you don't want. Remember we're aiming for about 17 to 18 things on this right side, this current toolbar button, so that the ones that you want will actually show up across the top. So thank you so much. I hope this has helped you understand how to customize your toolbar. If you have any land school questions, please leave them in the comments below or feel free to send me an email. If you are interested in more land school videos, I will include a card above that has a link to my land school playlist as well as include it in the description box below. Thank you so much and have a great day.